Hey guys, it's Maggie. I'm going to do a review today for the film A Serious Man, which is directed by the Coen brothers. And um, when you think about the directors of the day, you cannot name five directors that are better than the Joel and Ethan Coen. I mean, they are tip top, the best of the best that we have today. I mean, they have done so many classic films. If you think about Blood Simple, Fargo, Big Lebowski, No Country for Old Men. I mean, everything that they do is stellar and rarely are we ever disappointed. I mean, even with their lesser films, like Burn After Reading is one of them. I mean, even if it's not up to the caliber of some of their greater work, there is still such quirkiness and such a level of intelligence in their work that, you know, is just unmatched. And I think they are so wonderful for that reason. Um, I will, I'm one of the few who was actually quite entertained by um, Burn After Reading, but let me tell you, that movie does not hold a candle to this film that I'm talking about right now, A Serious Man, which just um, came out uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. And let me tell you right now, this movie is brilliant. I mean, it is right up there with some of their great dark comedy satires such as um, Fargo and even um, No Country for Old Men. I mean, it is absolutely, it is fantastic. Um, it's basically an ode to the life that Joel and Ethan Cohen knew as kids. They were Jewish and they grew up in the late 60s, um, early 70s, and it's about the Midwestern culture. And it's basically a satire, a depiction of what life was like for them. And um, anyway, this movie doesn't have any um, big stars or anything. Most of them are unknown, which works to the film's advantage, definitely. Um, but anyway, I'll tell you what the movie is about. It's about this guy, and he, you know, is a Jew. He's a, um, a Jewish guy, and he um, lives in a small Midwestern town. Um, he's a college professor, and basically everything in his life sucks. I mean, really sucks. His wife wants to divorce him. Um, his kids are just are absolutely ridiculous. His son just, he gets high all the time and just doesn't care about his dad at all. His sister is ridiculous. I mean, his kids just are really rude. He's got a crazy um, relative who lives with them. Um, he is just, I mean, he's losing money with his mortgage, getting in car accidents. I mean, this guy is cursed, basically. I mean, nothing in his life is going right. And, um, so this film is basically about him trying to find the hope, um, trying to find hope in his life, trying to find any certain, any kind of light from, you know, above, from, from the heavens. So anyway, um, throughout his journey to find his light, he is basically, he goes to lots of rabbis trying to search for some kind of answer to why he's having so many problems. And these people are just a bunch of caricatures of the Midwestern, um, the um, people that are kind of the salt of the earth, Midwestern, um, average American people. And they are hilarious. They have this certain unattractiveness and this kind of unusual look that you can only get, you know, from certain parts of the country, the, the part of the countries that, you, the part of America that you never see, basically. Um, and you, when you accompany that with the totally offbeat dialogue and the very quirky, kind of style camera angles that the um, um, Joel and Ethan Cohen use makes it so rich and so interesting to watch. Um, whenever these people talk to um, the main character, the protagonist, um, it's just, a they just go in circles. They don't, they don't help him at all, basically. He, they're just speaking gibberish. And that's kind of the film's moral um, center. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second. But as I mentioned before, the... Um, the main character is a college professor, and he um, teaches math. Um, well, very high level of math. Um, but anyway, so he, um, you know, he does all kinds of equations, and he has this huge blackboard where he just does, you know, equation after equation. And when you look at it, it's just a bunch of gibberish, and you don't really, you know, understand what it is. Well, really, that's kind of the moral center of the film. It, it's kind of a metaphor, you know, saying that, it could mean that, you know, the world, you know, there's no reason why some people have bad luck and some people have good luck. It's just kind of life is kind of a bunch of random coincidences. 
and um, or it could mean that no matter what you do, no matter how many equations you try to solve, you will never discover the meaning of life. But this this is really interwoven with the idea of the Jewish heritage and religion in general and the world around us. And I mean, it is really a fantastic movie. I mean, I have to see it again because it is so rich and so, so wonderfully done. But um, for seeing it the first time, I have to say this is definitely one of the best movies of the year. And um, you have to see it. If you are a Coen Brothers fan, and if you are just a film lover, this is a movie that you got to see. It's definitely, this is an Oscar contender. At least I hope so. So anyway, I definitely think you should see it. This movie is inspiring. So that's all I got to see. If you have any questions or comments, just put them down there. And that's all I got to say. So see you later.